It's Yui. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Inspired Japanese Cooking. Today, I'd like to show you easy recipes with ponzu sauce. Some of you might have ponzu at home, but don't really know many recipes to use it for. I hope this gives you some knowledge of using ponzu and that you enjoy more Japanese dishes. Ponzu is a basically stressy soy sauce that we use for anything like usual soy sauce and often used for shabu shabu too. Very tasty and useful, and tastes lighter than the soy sauce. So first recipe I'm gonna show you is ponzu dressing. In a bowl, add 3 tablespoons of ponzu, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of sesame oil, 1 tablespoon of sesame seeds, and 1 teaspoon of sugar. That's it! That's the tasty sesame flavored ponzu dressing. It goes great with any salad, but this time I made tofu lettuce salad. Place some lettuce, tofu, and any other veggies you like on a salad bowl, and dress with the ponzu dressing. Using tuna instead of tofu is a great idea too. Second recipe is ponzu avocado. I love this recipe so much and it has an addictive garlicky taste. In a bowl, add 2 tablespoons of ponzu, 1 teaspoon of sugar, 1 teaspoon of sesame oil, a quarter teaspoon of grated garlic and ginger each. If you have them, please add some sesame seeds and red chili pepper and mix them well. Taste it first, and adjust the taste with a pinch of salt. Then cut an avocado into cubes. Add the avocado in the bowl, then gently mix them again. Please try not to crush the avocado. Then it's done! Quick great appetizer here! and the combination of the ponzu and the garlic is very appealing. Third recipe is Japanese style ponzu spaghetti. First, start cooking the spaghetti. While cooking the spaghetti, let's make the sauce. Minced garlic. Then cut green onions. But separate them into the white and green parts. We'll use the green part for garnish. So I sliced it very thinly and diagonally. But you can just chop it finely too. If you put the thinly sliced green onion in ice cold water, it'll get curly like this. For the white part, chop finely. And we'll cook this with other ingredients later. Cut a few slices of bacon into bits. Add olive oil in a pan with medium heat and add garlic first to flavor the oil. Once you smell the garlic from the oil, add the chopped bacon. When the bacon is cooked, change to low heat and add the white part of the green onion, ponzu, and soy sauce. Then add the cooked spaghetti and a little bit of the cooking liquid into the sauce and mix them well. At the end, add a little bit of butter to reveal the richness. Serve with the rest of the green onion and some black pepper. With ponzu, I cooked three easy dishes, but they all taste different and wonderful. Also, I posted a video for savory Japanese fried chicken, karage, using ponzu before, so please check it out. I tried so many recipes for karage, but the one with ponzu is my absolute favorite. I'll be making more videos for ponzu and also for other Japanese ingredients, so if you have any Japanese ingredients you don't really know how to use, 
leave some suggestions in the comments. Thank you for watching and I see you again. Mata ne!